In the darkened waters of the high seas, where the wind carries the whispers of ancient curses and forgotten souls, a forsaken island drifts. This is the domain of Korgal the Soulbinder, a being so powerful and corrupted by necromantic forces that his very presence bends the fabric of life and death. His name is spoken among sailors and adventurers alike, in hushed tones, a legend intertwined with madness and unspeakable evil. Korgal's lair is no ordinary place. This is not an island marked on any map. It is a place that materializes only for those brave enough to seek it. To approach this place, adventurers must sacrifice their own blood by presenting both a treasure map and a world map at a mysterious sacrificial brazier located in a mountain pass near the second level of Covetous Dungeon. Any treasure map will suffice, and a world map can be crafted by cartographers using a mapmaker's pen or purchased from a mapmaker shop. Once the sacrifice is made, double-click the altar and select the treasure map, followed by the world map. The gods, or perhaps darker forces, then reveal the island's location, inscribed on a newly bestowed map, but at a cost. As the map materializes in your backpack, your life essence is drained, leaving you with only one hit point remaining. In this diminished state, you must exercise caution. Even the weakest monster could extinguish your life before the true battle has begun. Therefore, it is advisable to clear the area of potential threats before starting the ritual. Once the updated world map is opened, keep it open until you reach your destination, Korgal's Island. The journey continues. With the map in hand, adventurers must sail through the treacherous seas, navigating uncharted waters toward the Drifting Isle. Only high seas vessels, massive, powerful ships, can ferry the brave to Korgal's Island. Upon arrival, the island reveals itself like a mirage, its cobblestone heart beating with dark energy, surrounded by waves of spectral mist. The island is both beautiful and terrifying, a forgotten place overrun by the dead. Korgal does not stand alone on his cursed isle. Surrounding him are soul-bound, twisted remnants of those who once sought treasure and glory on the high seas. They now serve Korgal as mindless puppets, bound to him through death and beyond. The island is populated with these spectral beings, and when Korgal is wounded, they rise from the earth in waves to defend him. There are six initial groups of soulbound scattered across the island in several locations. However, unless disturbed, they generally stay where they are. These defenders must be destroyed if Korgal is to be weakened, for with each soulbound still standing, Korgal becomes nearly invincible, his skin turning to stone as he absorbs their unholy power. Adventurers must focus on separating the soulbound from their master, dispatching each group methodically before re-engaging Korgal. Hiding and stealth tactics can help manage the chaotic influx of undead, allowing players to recover and re-strategize without becoming overwhelmed. Those who rush in blindly may find themselves facing Korgal, his soulbound army, and an ever-growing horde of animated dead all at once. A death sentence for even the most experienced warriors. When Korgal is damaged, his soul screams out to the underworld, summoning additional groups of soulbound, appearing in random locations across the island. Each group must be destroyed, one after another, until Korgal stands alone. But woe to those who fight too close to the necromancer, for his power to animate the dead is unmatched, and the soulbound slain too close to him may rise once more, empowered and eager to take revenge on those who killed them. The best strategy is to start on the northeast side of the island, where no soulbound linger. From there, work slowly around the island, moving either south or north. Draw away portions of each group and deal with them swiftly, always remaining aware of Korgal's position. Listen for his menacing call or use tracking skills to determine his direction at all times. If he gets too close, move away until the task is complete. An alternative to killing the soulbound is to simply lure Korgal near the boat and fire on him with cannons, though this requires a group. While this task may seem daunting for solo adventurers or groups, it is worth noting that there are plentiful gold coins on these enemies, and a massive fortune can be gained in the process. At the center of the island, Korgal awaits. A monstrous black titan whose life aura is as twisted as his necromantic magic. For those brave enough to face him, the horror of his corrupted life aura soon becomes apparent. Unlike most foes, 
Corgal's aura distorts healing magic and life-stealing abilities. Vampiric Embrace and other life-leeching skills that adventurers typically rely on for survival in battle will instead drain their life. Each strike siphons away the player's vitality, leading them toward a slow, agonizing death. Only mana and stamina leech function as expected, forcing adventurers to adapt to a battle where survival can depend on combat prowess, tactical positioning, and strong teamwork. If a player's weapons are already imbued with mana or stamina leech properties, the fight can continue. However, those under the effects of vampiric embrace must revert to their normal state, or they will surely perish. Yet Korgul is not without his weaknesses. Rapan Slayers, magical weapons designed to slay giants and titans, can tear through his defenses. But beware, Korgul is not merely a brute force. A necromancer of the highest order, he can invoke Blood Oath, a spell that reflects any damage dealt back to its source. His spellcasting is potent and relentless, summoning undead minions from the bodies of fallen warriors and sending them back into battle. As his power swells, the dead can become his army, which is why it is wise to eliminate them entirely before taking him on. Fighting Korgal requires skill, strategy, and patience. Ranged combatants and tamers must beware of his vortex ability, which pulls all distant enemies toward him, forcing them into the deadly melee range. His long-range area effect attack is devastating, capable of wiping out entire groups if they cluster too closely. For those who manage to bring down this monstrous titan of necromancy, the rewards are considerable. Korgal guards treasures from the deepest depths of Sozeria's underworld, including his legendary handbook on mysticism and the handbook on the undead, tomes of forbidden knowledge coveted by necromancers and mystics alike. He carries the highest level treasure maps, rare high seas artifacts, and, for the truly lucky, the Korgal's Enchanted Sash, a powerful relic that protects its wearer with ancient defensive magic. Korgal the Soulbinder is a true test for any adventurer. His floating island is a place where few dare to tread, but for those brave enough to venture there, the experience is unlike any other. The battle against Korgal is not just a fight for treasure, but a battle for survival against one of the most powerful necromancers Sozeria has ever seen. His soulbound army, his twisted aura, and his power over death make him a truly formidable foe. But for those who can defeat him, they will walk away with both riches and glory. But beware. Once awakened, Korgal's island never remains in one place for long. And even those who have bested him once may find that his power grows stronger with every passing tide. His moving isle is a reflection of his eternal nature. A monster bound not to a single place but to the very soul of the sea itself. Always watching always waiting for the next foolhardy adventurer to seek his wrath.